Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement this. Swift to right or to left to manage one action on the items of a lazy column. Just like this. Sweeping to right to delete the items or sweeping to left to edit the item based on your project. And this is a simple uh, example, let's say. Uh, let's get started. Here I have a simple project. I have a function, my app. Inside this uh, composable function, I have created a list of uh, some uh, strings, just like subscribe, like, share, comment, and the name of my channel. Then I have a lazy column, and here in the lazy column, I use this function items indexed. Uh, to pass the index and the list to the uh, other function which is item UI UI of a single item and then I use the, this list and the index to set uh, these text on items of uh, the lazy column and you saw that the result is uh, like that uh, without anything okay uh, here uh, let's start with setting a state on the lazy column uh, the state uh, can be remember uh, lazy state lazy list state okay and then inside of this uh, items index function we have to manage everything so we are going to start from uh, sweep to dismiss uh, maybe if you write this sweep you have only this first line as a suggestion and you don't have this sweep to dismiss to use it uh, for this go to build.gradle and here uh, this line probably you will see 00 uh, 03 and 2023 change it to 16 2023 and sync it and uh, this sweep to dismiss will appear I need some uh, different parameters the state background and dismiss content as the dismiss content i'm going to pass the ui of single item the background i'm going to write some code for this and for now the estate let's start with the estate i'm going to create a value here calling it a state uh, equals to remember Uh, this means a state it's here okay confirm that value changed then uh, here we have to check uh, if the user sweeped the item or not so if the value of this uh, state is a boolean uh, so uh, when the stage will be changed the confirm value change the return function will be true or false uh, now we are checking if uh, dismiss uh, value is equal to dismiss to a start that means the user sweeped it from right to left in this case and then we will manage the action here so if you want to manage another action for right to left uh, you can use dismiss to end as well here just like this copy and paste it here and change this start to end and in the body of this if statement you can manage the action in this case i'm going to write the list dot remove and I'm passing this item here okay then 
Uh, true. And here uh, it's using experimental material theory API, so we have to write this annotation here. And then I'm going to pass this S state here. So that's it for here. We checked uh, the uh, like gesture by the user and we managed our action and we passed uh, the result to the UI and the state to the UI as well. And now uh, for the background. Uh, in the background of uh, the item, uh, we had uh, two colors. One red color as maybe alert when we are deleting the item and uh, green color when we are editing. And two icons. So here we have to manage them. First of all, the color. I'm going to create a value calling it color equals to. And now I have to check the different uh, situations here. Uh, when the state dot uh, dismiss direction and here first of all the dismiss direction from end to start from right to left in this case uh, I want uh, the red color on my background In the next case, this means direction I start to end uh, from left to right. If you don't use one of these directions and in your application you are using only one direction, uh, you can write here call it transparent. And if it's null, again color that transparent. Okay. Uh, this is a composable uh, block. So here I can uh, manage whatever I want. Uh, for this, I'm going to create a box and uh, modifier that fill max size and uh, then Inside of the body of this box, I'm going to add two icons. For the first one, delete. Modifier dot align alignment dot uh, center end for the first one and center start. Okay. 
for the second one and I'm going to change it to maybe uh, edit and here also edit uh, okay and uh, dot background based on the situation so I'm going to pass this uh, color value that I have created to the background and uh, let's check it on the emulator I have an error here sorry uh, we don't need these commas okay as you can see uh, we have everything here but you know uh, these uh, icons are visible when uh, we don't sweep the items let's say the sweep works perfect and i can delete the items and everything but uh, we don't need uh, like we don't want to have this uh, ugly uh, user interface so here in the ui we use a card and the card has this padding if we use the same padding for the box this problem will be solved just like this and now i'm going to install it again now we don't see this uh, icons so you can see that we have the icons and it works perfectly and from left to right as well i have it but uh, we don't manage uh, any action here actually we haven't managed and uh, the items after sweeping right to left remain on the screen so as i told you we just need to copy and paste it here change this start to end and instead of this line we can manage whatever we want for example opening a dialog uh, with uh, plain text and everything and uh, write whatever we want inside it and add it to the items but here in this case uh, this uh, array list is uh, static not dynamic so we don't want to change it it was just a simple example and the structure will be like that for your project as well thank you very much for your time if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do it and hit the bell button to be aware about new videos Thank you for your time again and uh, if you have any suggestion, any comment, any question, write them down below in the comment box and I will be so happy to read and answer them. Have a good day. Bye bye.